Hey guys, today I'm coming to you with a full drugstore makeup look. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then let's just keep on watching. And don't forget to like if you do. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I really do like this one. Make sure and do it first and let it kind of soak into the skin. So I just put that in the areas that I have bigger pores. Make sure and really work that into the skin. Okay, now that we have our primer on, we're gonna let that sit for just a little bit. I'm gonna go and do my eyes first. Today for my eye primer, I'm gonna be using the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. This one is in, just says, Zero BAF. I'm not sure if that's the color or not. I'm gonna go in this here. And you can take your beauty blender. Today I'm gonna be using my finger and just dabbing that out. So just keep, give you a nice even layer to do your eyeshadow, especially if you have a lot of veining going on. And it'll also help um, give the true color of your eyeshadow. So. Next, I'm going to be taking this Real Techniques medium eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to pick up some powder. I'm going to use the Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder that I had gotten from Walmart. Just to set this. You can also use like a light eyeshadow as well to set it if you'd rather. I like to set it before putting my eyeshadow on because if you just go in with your eyeshadow, it's not going to blend very well on top of that cream or the liquid, so I would always recommend setting it first before going in with your eyeshadow. Drugstore to me is as long as it's in the drugstore price range, even if you do have to get it online, I would still consider that in the same realm of drugstore. So I just wanted to touch base on a couple different ones. One is Makeup Geek. They have such good eyeshadows for the price. It's amazing. If you haven't checked them out, um, you should. This is just one of the palettes, the Vegas Lights palette. Um, it looks like these. Really pretty. Six shades, pretty basic. I know NYX has a lot of good uh, eyeshadow palettes as well. Their eyeshadow is pretty good for their price. You can find that at like Ulta or also I think Fred Meyer as well. Okay, enough chit chat. So what I'm gonna go in with first is from this Milani palette. This is in the shade Earthly Elements. It's so pretty. Look at those colors. I love this orange shade. Now this palette, honestly, I would save up if you're trying to just get drugstore, I would just save up just a little bit longer and pick up something from Ulta that's more high end like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Um, it'll be so worth it. There are good eyeshadows in the drugstore, but honestly, I feel like if you just saved up a little bit longer and got that higher end one, you will be happy with that. So just my preference, but you can definitely, if you do some searching, you can definitely um, find a lot of good eyeshadows in the drugstore. So don't just um, give up on the search. And if you have some great, you should um, share in the comments below. But, um, so I'm going to go in with this palette, just starting off here. And I'm actually just going to use what came in the palette as far as brush goes. So there's this fluffy brush here. On the other side, it's more of like a little blending brush. It doesn't look like these eyeshadows individually have names. So I'm just going to go in um, with this guy here for my crease. It's a little bit darker, but that's okay. I'll just take that in the crease. I just like to do swirling motions, but also windshield wiper motions. I really blend that in the crease. As far as brushes go for eyeshadows and things like that, um, really good ones I like that I've gotten from the drugstore are from like e.l.f. and then um, Lab 2, which I've gotten at Walmart before. It stands for Live and Breathe Beauty, and those ones are really good as well. So, um, oh, and as well as Real Techniques, they have some good eyeshadow brushes. I was at Walgreens yesterday, and they were like, the packets of eyeshadow brushes were like 50% off, so it was so cool. But there is a lot of options. Also, 
BH Cosmetics is really good. Sedona Lace is also really good for makeup brushes. Those two you'd have to get online, but those are pretty cheap and their brushes are really good as well. Uh, now for this eyeshadow palette, it's very orangey and warm. So if you got blue eyes, this is gonna really make your blue eyes pop. Typically, so like I have more green eyes, more purple eyeshadows would make my eyes pop. What you can do to find out is if you look at a color wheel, whatever is directly across from your color of eyes is what will really make your eye color stand out. So it's kind of a cool trick if you really wanted to bring out the color in your eyes, you could always just look that up. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the orange shade right here. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush and tap into that here. I'm gonna kinda go on the outer part and up into the crease. And also a little bit on the lid. And really take your time with blending. Blending is key. And just keep going until you get the intensity that you want. This orange is really pigmented, I feel like, for a drugstore, so that's awesome. So as for the rest of this eyeshadow palette, um, I don't really like it that much. Um, I basically just like to use these two colors here. This one here is pretty chunky, like the glitter in it, so it kind of, it's not very pigmented. Um, this one here is pretty good for like the crease, although it does have a little bit of sheen in it, so it's not the greatest for the crease, but you can use it. And as well as this one, this one is not very pigmented as well. Um, you could always try like spraying your brush with like Fix Plus or something maybe to try and get the pigment out more. But I don't know, I feel like for the price and for these two, I would, I would buy it. So to darken up the crease a little bit, this is um, a little bit dirty. But the Maybelline Nutmeg Eyeshadow, this is what it looks like. It's very nutmeggy, purpley brown. I'm just going to darken up the crease a little bit. I'm going to take my Lab 2 brush for this. So now for my lids, I'm going to do a more shimmery look. And actually the highlighter that I'm also going to be using a little bit later is this Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighting Powder. And this thing is so good for, especially the price. Look at that thing. Woo! Yums! Anyways, so I'm going to just be taking that on my finger. And putting that on the lid. And then I'm going to take my Lab 2 brush again. And just with no extra product on here. Blend that out. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And again, blend that out. Real quick, I'm going to actually dab in that highlighter with the Real Techniques shading uh, excuse me, shading brush. You know what? Just out of curiosity, I'm going to spritz this with not a high-end makeup spreading setting spray. Let's get it a little bit damp. I'm gonna see what that does. Hmm. It does magnify the pigment in there. So you can also spray a brush with like some setting spray or some Fix Plus or something. This to kind of bring up the pigment a little bit more. And one more time, blend that out. Now for eyeliners, I like a few different eyeliners. I'll just show you a couple of them. I really like the NYC black eyeliner. It looks like this. It doesn't, it's not the easiest thing to control. So if you're just starting out, I don't know if that'd be the best thing. It's really nice to use for your wing though. But for today's look, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's the same kind of brush, though. Um, but I feel like the wand is a little bit shorter, so it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to start by lining the top part of my lid, and then I'll um, come back and show you how I do my wing. Okay, so now that I have the line started on my eyelid, so this will differ for certain eye types. My, f I know my fold pretty well, um, so I like to keep my eyeliner more flat. 
So if you just um, take a mirror and kind of relax your eye and see where the fold is at, you kind of want to avoid that area as best as you can. Um, otherwise, the eyeliner will kind of crease into your where your crease is at. So. so there's my line. And then I'm going to just connect the top of the line straight into the line on top of my eyelid here. I'm kind of closing my eye like this. So now that I have that, I'm going to just fill in the rest. Please keep in mind that I'm drinking a monster, so my hands are very shaky right now. <laughs> if you do have shaky hands, I would recommend, like when I'm at my makeup desk behind me, I rest my elbow on the counter and it really helps me. So if you struggle with that, I would really advise to do that. Say you feel like you did your ring too thick or something, just take a makeup wipe. Any makeup wipe will do whatever you use. And just wrap it around your finger and this is a nice thing about doing your eyeshadow first just because if you had your foundation on already um you'd be wiping off your foundation and concealer and all that so it's kind of nice to do your eyes first i'm just gonna wipe and it really sharpens it up for me i know it looks a little bit crazy because i don't have the rest of my makeup on but that's pretty good now I'm going to do the other side and I will be right back. I'll be back and I am back. Anybody? Anybody? Know what that's from? No? Well. Ah, you're missing out. Moving on. We're going to continue with the eyes. For a uh, mascara, I'm going to be using the Falsies Big Eyes. This one's in waterproof, which is good. Either one, waterproof or not, is good. Um, this one has the upper lash side, like so, and also a lower lash side, which I really, really like. So we're gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes today. This sucker is old. Any lash curler will do. I'm gonna use the NYX Professional Makeup Waterproof Jet Black Eyeliner just to do my tight line really quick. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna actually do some lashes today. I got some Glamour Wispies by Ardell. I really do like these ones. The Demi Wispies are also pretty good. So since I know with my eye shape, and I've used these several times, this um, specific style. I do know that I need to trim them just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my duo lash glue in clear. You don't feel like you have to put lashes on because you definitely do not. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then just push down like so. Make sure it's up against your eyelid. I like to push up as well so that way don't, they don't dry downwards. So there is one done. I'm going to do the other one off camera and I will be right back. Let's go girls. Now that I have those on, a little trick to hide the band is I take like a flat shader brush and dip into a black eyeshadow. Now, I mean, I guess it's a flat angled brush. I know Elf has some of these. I got one of these in an Ipsy bag. Um, but So just dip into any black eyeshadow. Just kind of tap over the band. You could do this with the eyeliner. The only thing with a liquid eyeliner is if it gets on the band and you like really open your eyes, it will sometimes like transfer onto your eyelid. Since it's on like rubber, it won't dry correctly. Not rubber, but whatever it is. Once you have your eyeshadow and eyelashes on and everything, you can see if you like the way the eyeshadow looks with your lashes. And then I feel like I could probably darken up the crease just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do so and dip into the shade here with, again, the brush that it came with. Just darkening up that outer corner. 
I'm so excited about this eyebrow pencil that I've found. It's the uh, Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. Mine is in number 315 Deep Brown. Also, I kept the packaging just to show you guys. Because you know when you get the packaging for these kinds of things and it's like, Ah, it's so frustrating to open. It never like peels off right and it just takes forever. Well, they like perforated it. So it was just like opened up so nicely. That alone, I was like, yes, please. Anyway, so this is what the spoolie looks like at first. I was like, I don't know if you can see that. I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? This tiny thing. But it's actually, I really do like it. Um, and here is what the pencil part looks like. It's very small, which is nice for defining the brows. So we are going to do them now. I'm just going to show you one. Let's do this one today. So I'm going to start by forming it with small strokes underneath the brow. I'm going to go on top of the brow and fill it in as well. I'm just gonna flip it around and brush that baby out. You know, if you're having a hard time filling your brows, I really recommend grooming your brows. So what I like to do is take a spoolie, any spoolie, like this one here, and some scissors, and you kind of just brush through them, like make them stand up, and then just trim them some scissors it really helps the product to glide on easier i don't know i really recommend if you don't already get your brows done to at least groom them yourself now i'm going to do the front of the brow and flick upwards and then brush it out and i'm going to extend the tail a little bit Okay, so now that I have both of my brows on, I'm going to go in with some concealer and a flat angled brush and kind of carve them out just a little bit. I'm going to take the same brush I took the black eyeshadow on actually and just use this brush cleaner by Swippers, I guess. Um, and it's just got a little thing in here and it's, it's really easy to change out your eyeshadow. So you just kind of swirl it around in there. I still suggest to wash your brushes from time to time, but this is nice to just change out your eyeshadow if you want to use the same brush. Takes the color off. No more black. I'm just going to go in with the concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to take a little bit at the back of my palm, like so. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit. And dab into that to get ready to carve out these brows. Just wiping off excess product and just blending it out like so and then I'll do it to the other brow. I'm also going to do it to the top of my brows. You don't have to do this but I just like to. And I'm not going to set my brows yet because I will be putting other powders on and I don't want it to attach to that brow gel. So let us move on to the face. So I've already dampened my Eco Tools sponge and I'm going to be using for foundation today the True Match Super Blendable Makeup Foundation. My color is in Sun Beige W6. I really do like these True Match um, foundations. They have so many different color ranges. They have W for warm, N for neutral, and a C for cool. That just is your skin tone. So um, as you can see, my skin tone is a little bit more warm. Um, so I like to use the W. Making sure to blend it up by your ear and down your neck. The only downside about this packaging is that it doesn't have a pump, which if you don't mind that, that's cool. I just think it's easier. I guess I'm a true millennial. And if you don't know if your skin is warm tone, cool tone, or neutral, it just pretty much means um, if you have more of a yellow undertone, you would be more um, warm. If you're more pink undertone, then you would be cool, and if you're kind of in between, then you'd be neutral. 
I think there's ways to tell by your veining as well. Like if your veins are green, then I think that that would mean that you're warm tone. And if your veins are blue, that would mean that you are cool tone. You can probably Google it. I need to learn to shut my products. Does anybody else see that? I have like caps everywhere. Anyways, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is like my favorite drugstore one. Um, I'm going to be using the shade The Light, which is number 10. And then I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender and dabbing that out. And then just taking the other side where I use my foundation and blending out the edges. Now I'm just going to go straight into my powder. I'm going to use Neutrally Natural Air Spun. This stuff here. And I'm just going to go straight in with the sponge and set it. I'm not baking, but I'm going to set it with the sponge. Just want you guys to know that not everybody looks good when you're baking. If you like watch somebody on YouTube or wherever and they're baking and it looks so good, just so you know, it doesn't work on everybody's skin type. So if it's not working for you, don't do it. Sometimes if you set it first with just a brush and then go in and bake, Sometimes that might work a little bit better. For those of you who don't know what baking is, it's just when you put a bunch of powder and just leave it there and let it sit and bake. And then little cookies. And then wipe it off and it's supposed to help really lock your creams in. Now that I did that, I'm gonna set the rest of my face. So I do have those translucent powders. If you're looking for one that has color, that's compact. I recommend the Better Skin by Maybelline. I'm in the shade 80, Rich Tan. I'm going to take this Real Techniques powder brush. I'm going to put the powder on after I put all my creams on. Just to set everything. Get ready for my other powders like my bronzer and blush and highlight. Okay, now that everything has been set, let's move on to contour. For today I'm going to be using the Jane Bronzing Powder in, in Power. I picked this up from Ulta. It's really good for contouring. And I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's going to look a little bit crazy at first, but I will be blending it out. Now that I have that on there, I'm going to wipe off the excess on the back of my hand and then start blending upwards. Now that we are done with contour, I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer and it says waterproof bronzing powder. I've never tested that, but that's cool. Um, and this is 022 Sun Bronze. They have another one of these, and it has a little bit of shimmer reflex in it, but I like the one that's completely matte. And I'm going to take my e.l.f. complex brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. Now if you ever feel like you've gotten your contour or bronze too low, just take your beauty blender and tap into some powder. And just... It out. Make sure you have them even, unlike what I just did. So if you're going out and you really want that to set, I would leave it on there for a little bit, but I don't like to leave it sitting too long because I feel like you can really see it. So I just blend it out right away. And it kind of just really cleans it up for you. And then I'm just going to blend as well. This is the Real Techniques stippling brush. I really like the Real Techniques brushes. They are good. And I really like the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, the orange one. So good. I'm going to actually go in with highlight before my blush. Sometimes I like to do that because I like the highlight to look like it's coming out from underneath, like from within the blush. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to take this BH Cosmetics 101 brush. Now, 
Now Elf, Elf, <laughs> Elf has a lot of good brushes that you could use for this. You could use a blush brush, you could use a fan brush. Fan brushes are great. Um, but I don't have any of those, but this is really cheap BH Cosmetics. Check it out. So I'm just going to dip into this um, highlighter I used earlier on my eyelids, the uh, Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighting Powder. And this stuff is bomb. Like, this is an eyeshadow brush. So I bet if you would, like, use a a fan brush or something so it really pop but I don't have a lot of actually from the drugstore brushes so but like I said elf lab 2 real techniques those are all really good so now I'm going to blend that out and next I'm going to do blush two blushes that I love for the drugstore one Milani this one's rose Dior number 02. Oh, this one is so good. I love it. I've hit pan on it, but it's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that though. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Today I'm going to be using though the Ulta brand Velvet Blush in Princess. This one is so pretty as well. Just really neutral. And I'm going to be taking it on my Real Techniques, of course, blush brush. Yeah, that's hard to say. Blush brush. Now I like to go higher up on my cheekbones. Of course, you could hit the apples of your cheeks here. Um, I just like the way it makes my face look. It's almost like it, it draws it out almost. And I like that. But it won't look good on everybody, so do you though. Now that I have, not that brush, the blush on, I'm going to blend it out. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my under eyes using the same palette, the Milani and the brush that it came with, the flat side. I'm gonna take the darkest color first. Next, I'm going to go into that orange shade on the same brush. You use that instant brush cleaner pad here and get off those colors because I'm gonna go in with this brush with the highlighter wet mild highlighter and hit my inner corners of my eyes and I'm also going to go on my brow bone with this and blend it out and then I'm gonna go in with that Maybelline Balsies big eye on the lower lash brush and hit my lower lashes also you can go back through your upper lashes and really make sure you're blending the falsies with your natural lashes. Another thing I like to do if I add some color to the bottom and I'm not going for like a nighttime dramatic is take like a light um, eye pencil. This one is the Rimmel Waterproof Coal Liner in Nude. It's just kind of pretty much white. Kind of off-white so it's not completely white. Sorry, I had to do that part off camera because I needed both hands to do that. But yeah, it just kind of lightens up the look a little bit. Now for my brows, to set my brows, I'm going to use, use the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and Transparent. I've heard the color ones are actually pretty good as well. Just comb through those. Now before my lips, I'm going to just set everything with the Infallible Pro Spray and Setting Mist. Pick it up. Now, most setting sprays, the spritzer is nice and delicate. This one, my friends, is not so delicate. So when you spray it on your face, just know it's really coming at you. Okay, so don't be don't be startled. Even though I just said not to be startled, but dang, that really hits you. So for lip liner today, I'm going to be using the Jordana lip liner in the shade Tawny. I got this from Walgreens. They're so cheap and they're so good. Tawny is definitely my fave. And also what's nice about the Jordana lip, li lip liners ugh, is it's retractable. Honestly, I hate pencils that you have to sharpen. Who uses a pencil sharpener anymore? 
Seriously. Anyways, I'm gonna take that, line my lips. Now for today's look, I'm gonna be using a gloss by NYX, the creme brulee one. Um, Fortune Cookie is also really good, mostly just all the new one, nude ones. Here is Tiramisu here, and then creme brulee here. A little bit more nude. I love these. Oh, also a really good matte lipstick from the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Mega Last. These things are so good for drugstore. I'm not even kidding. And the doe foot applicator is so good. Anyways, so my favorite ones in those are Rebel Rose. So pretty. And then also I really love Give Me Mocha, which is this color here. So pretty. I'm going to go on top of my lip liner with this gloss. Again, it's the NYX Butter Gloss. I honestly remember when I first got into makeup, this was like the first product that I ever got. And I remember trying it and seriously, I loved the way it felt on my lips. Such a nice gloss. All right, that completes this drugstore look. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have any drugstore favorites you'd like to share, that would be great. Just leave it in the comments below.